I'm a builder. I like the startup phase of things. And CDC has been working with Catalytic Capital for about five years, but it had arrived at a moment where it was time to institutionalize the practice. And that's really the moment where I love to get involved. You're facing challenges like, what about the impact of thinking about subsidy? Or what if we are bringing a flexible approach to risk? What does that mean in terms of distorting markets? Um, there can be some moral hazard in those questions if you're not really careful about how you shape them. We took the decision to set up an incubator for catalytic capital within CDC. And we have a hub within the Chief Investment Office that acts as a host for that startup culture, bringing together the best of our commercial rigor and our entrepreneurial spirit. We use the accelerator to explore new pathways to impact, investments where we can identify potential scale towards systemic change. We also try to better understand the range of scenarios. We don't focus on a specific target return. We think more about how wide those scenarios could be and what would drive each one in each case. We still want to keep pushing our money to work harder for impact. So how can we build that innovation culture even more deeply into our fabric? A really exciting example of how we're using catalytic capital today is a company that we created called MedAccess. So this is a startup subsidiary of CDC and we designed MedAccess to respond to the market need for low-cost pharmaceutical technologies to distribute into the countries that really need them. With MedAccess's volume guarantee and the partnership with Whole Logic and the Clinton Health Access Initiative, we hope to deliver affordable, high quality tools, viral load testing machines into those clinics so that someone walking in the door today has all the tools they need to live the life that they want. We also can think about the capital markets and the impact it has on the economy more broadly. Venture capital is a really interesting part of the capital markets that seeds the new ideas that can change the way the world works tomorrow. But the venture capital market in Africa is just emerging. Through our catalyst strategies, we help to support one of Africa's first venture funds in their first fund and now their second fund as well. Novastar Ventures is pioneering venture investing across the continent. There's exciting energy around catalytic capital today. We're really at the frontier, so there is a lot to learn, and we're committed to making sure that we share it as we go. CDC has a commitment of up to $1.6 billion of catalytic capital from its shareholder, and so we're looking for opportunities to partner. We know we can't do it alone, and with the expertise of foundations, other investors, even family offices, other development finance institutions, we know that we can build really innovative solutions that could deliver real impact at scale to some of the world's most pressing challenges.